Top 10 African Countries with the Highest Debt to China China's extensive lending activities across numerous African countries have become a significant point of discussion in global economics. The issue gained even more attention when U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, during her visit to Africa in January 2023, accused China of setting a debt trap for impoverished African nations. China responded, assuring that it had not set any debt traps, but agreed to cancel some debts and extend payment terms for others. Recent global events have made it increasingly challenging for many African countries to meet their debt obligations. Currently, 22 low-income African nations are either experiencing a debt crisis or are at significant risk of doing so. Chinese lenders account for 12% of Africa's private and public external debt, which soared more than fivefold to $696 billion from 2000 to 2020. This situation was expected to deteriorate further in 2023, limiting African nations' ability to finance broader social improvements and respond effectively to climate change. In this video, we bring you the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, based on the figures provided in the Chatham House report. Ivory Coast holds the 10th position on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, with a debt of $3.7 billion. The funds were primarily used for infrastructure development projects, including the construction of highways, bridges, and energy infrastructure. Notably, China's investments in Ivory Coast have been focused on projects aimed at improving the country's transportation network and energy sector, thus supporting economic growth and development. One significant project financed by China is the Unri Konan Bedi Bridge, also known as the HKB Bridge, which spans the Ibri Lagoon in Abidjan, Ivory Coast's economic capital. This bridge has greatly improved transportation between the northern and southern parts of the city, reducing travel time and boosting economic activities. Ivory Coast's debt to China reflects the country's efforts to modernize its infrastructure and enhance its economic competitiveness, but it also raises concerns about the country's ability to manage its debt burden effectively. Ghana ranks ninth on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, with a debt totaling $5.30 billion. This debt has been primarily used to finance various infrastructure projects aimed at modernizing the country's transportation network, energy sector, and other critical areas of development. One of the significant projects funded by China in Ghana is the construction of the Tsino Hydro Deal infrastructure projects. This deal involves the construction of roads, bridges, interchanges, and other infrastructure projects across the country. The Sino Hydro deal aims to improve Ghana's infrastructure, enhance economic growth, and create employment opportunities. While these investments have the potential to drive economic growth and development, there are concerns about Ghana's ability to manage its increasing debt burden effectively. The country must ensure that these borrowed funds are utilized efficiently and that the investments lead to sustainable economic development and improved living standards for its citizens. The Democratic Republic of Congo or DRC currently ranks number 8 on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China. The DRC owes approximately $5.39 billion to China. This debt was primarily accrued through loans used to finance various infrastructure projects in the country. The funds were utilized for a range of projects, including the construction of roads, hospitals, and hydroelectric power plants. These infrastructure developments were aimed at improving the country's transportation networks, healthcare system, and energy supply. However, concerns have been raised about the sustainability of DRC's debt to China, as the country's ability to repay these loans has come into question. The DRC's economy faces significant challenges, including political instability and corruption, which could hinder its capacity to service its debts. Managing this debt responsibly is crucial for the DRC's economic stability and long-term development. Sudan holds the seventh position on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, owing approximately $6.1 billion. This debt primarily stems from loans used to fund various infrastructure projects across the country. One major project financed in part by China in Sudan is the Moreau Dam. The Moreau Dam, located on the Nile River, is one of Africa's largest hydropower projects. 
With a capacity of 1,250 megawatts, it plays a crucial role in Sudan's energy infrastructure, providing electricity for millions of people and supporting economic development across the country. The dam has helped to alleviate Sudan's chronic power shortages and has contributed to the expansion of irrigation projects, boosting agricultural productivity in the region. However, despite its benefits, the project has also faced criticism for its social and environmental impacts, including the displacement of thousands of people and the disruption of ecosystems along the Nile River. Cameroon's $6.2 billion debt to China places it at number 6 on the list of African countries with the highest debt to the Asian giant. The debt primarily stems from Chinese-funded projects such as the Kribi Deep Seaport and the construction of the Memvel Hydroelectric Dam. While these projects were aimed at boosting Cameroon's infrastructure and energy sector, concerns have arisen regarding the country's ability to repay the loans. The debt burden has raised questions about the terms of the loans, transparency, and the sustainability of Cameroon's debt. With a GDP of around $34 billion, the debt to China represents a significant portion of the country's economy. Critics fear that the high level of indebtedness could potentially undermine Cameroon's economic stability and sovereignty. As Cameroon grapples with the economic repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic, effectively managing its debt to China has become an urgent priority for the country's government. Nigeria holds the fifth position on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, with a debt amounting to $6.7 billion. The borrowed funds have been allocated to various infrastructure projects aimed at bolstering Nigeria's economic development and addressing critical infrastructure gaps. Among the notable projects financed by China in Nigeria are, the Abuja-Kaduna railway line which connects Nigeria's capital, Abuja, with Kaduna, a major city in the north. It has significantly improved transportation between the two cities, easing congestion on roads and enhancing connectivity in the region. The Zunguru hydroelectric power project located in Niger State is another project that is being completed thanks to these funds. It aims to increase Nigeria's electricity generation capacity by harnessing the hydropower potential of the Kaduna River. Another one is the Lagos Ibadan Expressway project, which involves the rehabilitation and expansion of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, one of Nigeria's busiest highways. The upgraded road will enhance transportation efficiency, facilitate trade, and promote economic growth in the region. Kenya ranks fourth on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, owing a staggering $9.1 billion. This debt has been utilized for several significant infrastructure projects across the country. Among them are the Standard Gauge Railway SGRK project, which connects the port city of Mombasa to the capital Nairobi and other major towns. The railway has significantly eased transportation of goods and people, boosting trade and tourism in the region. Additionally, the debt has been used to fund the construction of roads, including the Nairobi Thicker Highway, enhancing connectivity and facilitating economic growth. However, there have been allegations of corruption linked to the debt acquired by Kenya from China. The financing of major projects has been marred by claims of inflated costs, irregular tendering processes, and lack of transparency. Critics argue that these projects have been used as conduits for siphoning public funds, leading to concerns about the sustainability of the debt and its impact on the Kenyan economy. Zambia ranks third on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, owing a substantial $9.8 billion. One of the notable projects funded by Chinese loans in Zambia is the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport Expansion Project. Completed in 2020, this project significantly upgraded Zambia's main international airport, improving its capacity and modernizing its facilities. Another significant project is the construction of the Luzakandola Dual Carriageway. While these projects have undoubtedly contributed to Zambia's infrastructure development, concerns have been raised about the country's increasing debt to China. There are concerns that Zambia's inability to repay its loans could result in the seizure of strategic national assets by China. 
For instance, the Zambian government had to hand over control of the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport to China's state-owned company, China Jiangxi Corporation for International Economic and Technical Cooperation, as part of a debt swap deal. Critics argue that such arrangements risk compromising Zambia's sovereignty and economic independence. Ethiopia currently holds the unenviable second position on the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, with a staggering debt of $13.7 billion. One of the most prominent projects funded by Chinese loans in Ethiopia is the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. Completed in 2016, this railway line connects Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, to the port of Djibouti, providing a crucial transportation link for landlocked Ethiopia. The railway has significantly reduced transportation costs and time, facilitating trade and economic growth in the region. Another notable project is the Addis Ababa Light Rail, which began operations in 2015. One of the most significant issues is the risk of debt dependency and potential loss of sovereignty. With the majority of Ethiopia's external debt owed to China, there are fears that the country could become ensnared in a debt trap, with serious implications for its economic independence and political autonomy. Angola leads the list of the top 10 African countries with the highest debt to China, with a staggering debt of $42.6 billion. Over the years, China has been a major creditor to Angola, providing significant financial assistance for various infrastructure projects and other developmental initiatives. One notable project financed by Chinese loans in Angola is the construction of the Kilamba Kiaxi Social Housing Project. This ambitious project aimed to address Angola's housing shortage by constructing affordable housing units on the outskirts of Luanda, the capital city. The Kilamba Kiaxi Housing Project, completed in 2012, consists of thousands of apartment buildings, providing housing for thousands of Angolan families. While the project has helped alleviate the housing crisis to some extent, it has also faced criticism for its high costs and the lack of affordability for many Angolan citizens. The high levels of debt owed to China have raised questions about Angola's long-term financial sustainability. The country's debt-to-GDP ratio has skyrocketed in recent years, leading to concerns about its ability to service its debt obligations in the future. The growing debt owed by African countries to China is a significant issue with wide-ranging implications for the continent's economic future. While Chinese loans have financed many crucial infrastructure projects across Africa, concerns about transparency, accountability, and the long-term sustainability of these debts persist. If you found this information valuable and would like to stay updated on similar topics, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Your subscription helps us continue to bring you insightful analyses and reports on important issues affecting Africa. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.